But look who's in right now. Kyle Rudolph, number eight. Longtime Viking tight end who had a good week of practice. Tom believes he's going to be a factor of the second half of this season. First and goal. If the safety wants to bite, he likes to play action. Something behind. Over to Godwin. Nothing doing. Again, it's Hill. First to trip him up. Well, it's just a tough play because you got people flowing that way. They'll have to snap it before the two-minute warning, and we'll run it down and use the most of that play clock. The red zone, that was a, just a way to run the ball for Tampa, right? That was their version of a run. And rarely, I mean, we talked about the struggles. Last year in the red zone, they were second. They're 29th this year. But usually when the game's on the line, there's a guy, number 12, who has a way of showing up. I've seen that guy. Number 12 has to take the timeout with two on the play clock. Remember that play, we're just hearing from Tracy, that Julio Jones has not been in the lineup. You've noticed that. Mm -hmm. Remember that one play where he like slipped? He was, like banged up a little, yeah. like it was like he was hurting. He's taking him out of the game. Although he's got the helmet on and wants to get back. Yeah, he's trying to get back in. Sometimes it's for injury, sometimes it's just for, you know. Caught a touchdown last week as first as a buck. That's a huge timeout right there, Jim. Like I know, like sometimes you got to get things right, but if you don't score, because we know it's four down territory. If you don't score, that timeout could be gigantic. A maker. Second and goal. <laughs> to the end zone. Wide open. Oh, my goodness. He dropped it. Scotty Miller. To your point, um, Julio's not out there. Some of these other guys have to come up and make a play. And Scotty with a great route. And it's a perfectly thrown ball, and it's an easy catch that, as long as it doesn't hit your face mask. Yeah. And this is, I mean, we keep saying the same things, Jim. As untimely of drops and penalties as I've seen in a long time going against you. Now you got third and goal. Six drops today by the Buccaneers. Brady fires a goal line. Ball in the air, incomplete. Otten. Would have been just short of the end zone as Scott and Rams. Well, here you go. Fourth and goal for Tampa Bay. Coming out of the two-minute warning. And down 13-9, Tony. Well, here it is. Aaron Donald, he's standing right there in the middle. He's going to get to his spot, take on the guy he wants to. He's going right over there over the right guard, Shaq Mason. But the truth is, do you come after Brady or not? Here's Brady looking to the end zone pass up in the air and incomplete. Ramsey almost made the pick and the Rams take over on downs. Now it's not over yet because you still have the two timeouts for the Bucks. Brady had to throw this ball because Aaron Donald creates havoc in the backfield on your right side right at the bottom boom and then up top the ball it's really the sack is over. So he doesn't want to throw it there Jim but fourth down you have to. As Donald comes bearing down, he feels him right there. And he's like, you want to wait and go through to somebody else, but the ball has to come out. It's actually a selfless play, but a poor play. There was nothing there. There was nothing open. How big is Aaron Donald? Oh. Yeah, yeah, he has been a, just a game wrecker in this second half. Two as timeouts. he has so many times. It's not over. Yep. By the way, Brady with 52 pass attempts. First game of his career with over 50 attempts in a game without throwing a touchdown. Mm. There's going to be a lot of firsts like that this year for him. Henderson. And he just gets back to the line, and the quick timeout is called. Tom Brady goes right back to take a look at what happened on that last sequence. And, uh, Tony, I mean, you, you always are great on the math here. They can still get the ball back in probably a short field here if their defense can hold the stand here. I mean, this is why that timeout was huge, just because... You know, you obviously can't give up a first down. But right here, you're going to play safe from the Rams' perspective, and you're going to want to let that clock keep running. But you got to come up with a play that just doesn't go three and out. But you've got 45 seconds to 50 seconds less now. So even when you do get it back, it's a touchdown. They give it the cut. It goes really wide, and then slides inbounds. 
knew what he was doing, but he's five yards short of the first. It'll be third and five in the timeout, the last one for the Bucks. If you're a Ram fan, you're like, he was way further than that, but they start where the ball was when he starts to slide. He really, that was close to almost being like, it's okay, try and get the first. Yeah, I thought he might have had a chance. But uh, where you start the slide, it means you're giving yourself up. It's not when you're touched. So right there, they would have already put that ball all the way back. It's not where you get touched right there. Yeah, he slid and you're started the 13. Up. It's a really good job by the referees to get that one right. Actually, the market at the 12. So it is third and five. And this is it. Pick up the first. It's ball game. Rams without a first down in this quarter. Well, I know Tampa's got Vita Vea. He's going to have to do his best Donald interpretation right inside. He's going to try. Do you run it or throw it, Jim? I think they're going to run it. And they do with Henderson. And they stop him. Just give him a yard, that's all. And that clock's going to run down to, well, in under a minute where they'll have to punt it. And the punting today on both sides has been sensational. They're going to need a big one here because if you hit a bad punt or allow a big return, things get a lot easier. Right now, when you're going to get this ball back with 50 seconds, 45 seconds, you're going to find that it's really hard to go score a touchdown if you're not around that 50-yard mark. Because I know it's Tom Brady and you're explosive, but you get only about three or four plays if they keep you in bounds. That's right. Timeout called by McVay. And out again comes Riley Dixon. What a tribute by these punters. They, they don't remember Ray Guy, unfortunately. The late Ray Guy who passed away this week. The Raider legend punter who made it to Canton in the Pro Football Hall of Fame as a punter and came into the league out of Southern Mississippi as a first-round draft choice. Think about that, as a punter. And he delivered. He lived up to it. I was about to say, no one thinks that's going to be worth it. Well, guess what? He was. He was with it. Definitely worth it. They're going to need someone worth it here. So they're going to run up to the line, not give them the ability to assess what's going on. And in the goal line, here's the punt. He's going to travel to the 40. Darby. Tries to reverse field, and he's going to end up at the 40. It's not where you thought they needed it, Tony. About 10 yards shy of that mark, 44 seconds. Yes, and this is nobody better in the history of the game than number 12 coming out with the game on the line. The problem is needing a touchdown, no timeouts, 44 seconds. Truly, you got three plays. If you get out of bounds, you can extend it. The other one is you create one big play to give yourself an opportunity to have that play at the 25, 30 yard line, but you cannot get a pass for five yards in bounds over the ball. Drop it, it's not worth it. Out of bounds or big plays. Evans at the bottom, the deep threat. He's not looking that way, but there's a big catch to the 37 by Otten. Gets on his feet and he takes it to the 32. Tom Brady looks off and he goes right behind Jalen Ramsey, who's playing inside. And he spikes it to stop the clock with 28 seconds. And from here, he can get some throws to the end zone. In fact, probably try to split the difference. That was a 28-yard pass play. Ramsey was playing down low at the linebacker, and he just looked at Brady's eyes as you see him right there. Now he's switching, coming over here. First play of 20 yards in the game for Tampa Bay, and Fournette goes out. How you can do that, if you get that big play down the middle, they are threatened down there so now you can look them oh I'm going to throw it again over the middle and get out of bounds extending four five six plays then that picked up four remember they spiked it so it's third and six with 24 seconds to the sideline and out of bounds with the catch is Miller with 19 no, seconds nobody in the history of the game just decides to show up all of a sudden in the big time moments like this guy He's not nervous, Jim. He's done this in Super Bowls over and over again. But it's still got to get into the end zone, and that's going to be much tougher. 14 yards out, 19 seconds. Back to the sideline, and another catch by Miller as they inch closer. Ramsey switches sides. He goes over there to try and take that away. He didn't think you would just attack him with Scotty Miller, and he played too soft. Brady's getting him into position. They picked up 53 yards in 37 seconds without a timeout. 
A sack ends the game right here. The game is over with a sack. Aaron Donald, he knows that. Tom Brady also does. From the seven, looking for the win, and it's incomplete. And they get the flag. They've got the ball set up off the DPI at the one-yard line as Kendrick is going to be called for That's pass interference. Defense number six. The ball will be placed at the one-yard line. It's first and goal. Well, this is what the term is, hook and turn. You hook the defender and you turn him with your hand, and that's the correct call. Todd Bowles knows it. And now you can't run the ball on this one. You run the ball when you have one play left, Jim, if you wanted to. But if you're the worst running team in the history of the league, you're not going to start now. the ball right you're here. Not here. Although you got Fournette right next to Brady's right hip. You've got three plays if you throw them quickly. Don't want to try and scramble around or anything. Just throw it away if it's not there right away. Here's the snap to Brady. Fakes to Fournette. He throws. It's caught. It's in for the touchdown. Incredible. Tampa Bay takes it 60 yards. And the fourth quarter woes continue for the Rams. It's going to be a 10-0 fourth quarter after the extra point. And Kendrick getting picked on on that drive. And though even Ramsey switched over and got picked on twice. But what a play call. Cade Otten, the first touchdown by a tight end this year at Tampa Bay. You're exactly right. You missed that Gronk guy. But how different did that offense look on that drive all oh, of a sudden? Man. It was almost I did, like I didn't a recognize it. well-oiled machine. I, I had flashbacks. <laughs> You've only done a few of those big games with Brady over the years. And, and Gronk. Happens again. Extra point suck up is good. Brady's 58th pass attempt finally yields the touchdown. And Brady celebrates with Byron Leftwich. And what well, you can't say has saved the season because that division is all under 500, but it certainly changes the optics and the way you march on from here. You're going to see a fake. And these guys right here, eyes. Look where all their eyes are. They're inside. And that right there is what gets it open, the communication poor on when to switch or not. 33 Scott wasn't talking with Kendrick. When you have a bunch formation, sometimes you stay on your guy, sometimes you pass off, let a guy go inside. Miscommunication, Todd Bowles, desperate for a win, gets it today, and Tom Brady and Byron Leftwich fall in love all over again. Boy, the emotion in his eyes and the disbelief in the eyes of Sean McVay. What a difference this guy made in the game. Oh, he was Damn. a monster. The bully showed up. But you got this rookie who suddenly made a giant leap today as a part of this offense with five catches for 66 yards. Not baby baby Gronk has arrived. <laughs> Still early for me to call it. Yeah. But Otten, really, that play down that middle, that play down the middle changed everything because it's okay if they throw it underneath you. You can't let a guy get behind you. And when that happens, now you could throw the ball to the sideline. Now, getting five yards or six yards or seven from the 40 back there, Jim, you're not going to do that more than twice. But when you get all the way up there, now it's easy. They extended that drive as long as possible. It was a perfect execution. It's a teaching tape. Well, you got nine seconds. You need to somehow do some miraculous thing and get out of bounds. A field goal to tie you know, we saw something like this. I want to say Kansas City. When was that? I mean, <laughs> you've seen it. They threw inside to somebody, one of these guys, real quick. The problem is, if you do that, the game's over unless you do some trickery. Flag first. And back up Goal the Rams. Start. Offense number 71. It's a five yard penalty. It's still first down. Tried a little trickery on the snap kind of hurt themselves as Evan 71 jumps and Sean McVay Aaron Donald some special special players the problem is they ran into a guy who's <laughs> as special as they come they're just wow so quick screen right here throw the ball out to one of these guys get your old lineman getting over there might as well big cup who sends it all the uh -oh. way over to the other side of the field to Powell Oh. Uh, this is not who you want. Now back uh -oh, to Cup. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Cup. Tackled. 
Game over. And the band is coming on the field. What an ending. Wow. And the Rams are dejected. They had this game won. This Gotta was a be. must win in a lot of ways for both teams. Like you said, it's not quite to that point, but it was getting there. Two great competitors right there. Bay looks in shock. He really does. I mean, you, you didn't give him anything all day. Nothing. Tom said, I heard you. I had 50 completion, 50 attempts today without, without a touchdown. touchdown pass. And he goes, ah, oh, that's right, Jim. I got to go get that. Now look at the standings in the south. Tampa Bay matching Atlanta, four and five. Saints can get there tomorrow if they can beat Baltimore on Monday Night Football. Then you've got in the west, the Rams fall back to three and five.